When running parametric simulations in COMSOL Multiphysics, the software automatically saves your file periodically. If an unexpected crash occurs, you can then open a recovery file with a few simple clicks. This feature is applicable to users running time-dependent, parametric, or non-linear simulations and can be a real lifesaver when needed. This is the space frame instability model that you see here in COMSOL Multiphysics. We've opened it from the application libraries and it can be found under the structural mechanics module and then under verification examples. You can open and run this if you have the structural mechanics module. You can also open it if you don't have the structural mechanics module, but you cannot run the application. Okay, so looking at this uh, model here, we have a stationary study that we've run, but we've added an auxiliary sweep. This is a geometrically nonlinear model, which necessitates this, what we call a load ramping strategy, where we run several parameters in the same study to arrive at our result. I've already run this study before starting the video, just to give you a frame of reference for the solution time. Run on this computer, the full solution takes six minutes and 40 seconds. So I will click compute to run the study over again. I can click to open the progress window and see the progress that is being made while running the study. Here you can see the values of the auxiliary sweep going up. There are several reasons that a simulation might be interrupted. But for the purpose of teaching, we're going to open up the task manager on the Windows machine and force quit from Comsol Multiphysics. Here we have Comsol.exe. Uh, so we're going to jump forward in time to uh, around 95% finished with the simulation. Okay, so we are about 95% finished. Now we can end the process and Comsol is closed. Let's reopen Comsol Multiphysics again. And now we can go to File and click Open Recovery File. This will show any files that crashed during a simulation. Here you can see I have one from earlier today, but let's go with the most recent one. Okay, now first let's look at the results because the results are actually stored in the data set. Even though this is blank here, what you can do is click on the data set none and then click back to study one solution one and all of our different solutions will then show up. So don't be discouraged if at first it looks like there are no solutions. Now we have almost all of our solutions, our parameter values, but not all of them. And since we don't want to run our study again, what we can do is we can continue the simulation. We can right click the study node and click continue. Or we can open up the progress window again and click the continue button and then select the study that we want to continue. In this case, study one. There is only one study. And here you can see the progress has started again. We start at a value of 8.56, which was the last value uh, in the study when it crashed. Once our simulation is finished, we can go to the messages window and see that the solution time was only one minute and 40 seconds. So that's a full five minutes uh, that we saved there by opening up the recovery file. And this could save you even more time depending on your own specific simulations. You can see that we have the rest of our values and everything's great. Finally, if you've just seen this video and decide that you don't want this feature, you can easily make adjustments in the preferences window here. And in the file section, you can click to uncheck the box to save recovery files. And you can also change the folder where you want their files to be saved. Turning off this feature could be useful if all you are doing is solving small files. However, don't forget to turn it back on when you get to your more complex simulations.